Dear viewers, welcome back to Sklop Civil Engineering. This is Dula with another new video, Tecla Tates 2019. In this lecture, I'm just going to show that how will analysis and design a continuous beam like simply supported or fixed supported. That's not fact. So let's start. And before starting, if you're new to our channel, then please subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first. So I'm opening a software. Here is the software and I have selected our code. And here I'll click new. From here I'll just click concrete and from here I'll click RCC beam analysis and here or RCC beam analysis and design. And here I'll just click RCC beam analysis and design. And here I'll click continue. When we're here, so here a, we're seeing a simply supported beam. So we'll change that uh, time to time. So here first of all I will change that option design criteria so this is the standard and if you need to change that you can change that card card, card uh, reinforcement style so here I am using that option okay a three zone one two three uh, but I am using that option here right and uh, here you can change the design code i'm using sci 31811 and from support uh, our position of share check that will be from support and yield quote that is okay and that is also okay then okay and when that is okay then i'll just go for um materials so what will be the materials uh, i will use 3000 psi and that that okay and here is the uh, reinforcement and here the yield strength of reinforcement so this is for uh, unit weight of concrete and this is yield strength so the 60 grade reinforcement and here the beam details sort of the uh, clear cover 1.5 1.5 and 1.5 then okay and here the reinforcement before that we'll just go for geometry and after that we'll go for loading so here we are seeing the length is 20 feet so what i'll do i'll consider length 15 feet and i'll just click select to change that shape select then i'll use 12 into 18. i'll consider that 12 into 18 or 12 into uh, 15 first time and after that i'll just go for okay i'll just go for 18 inch For that and it will be uh, on that side okay or uh, the left side that will be free and our inside that will be fixed and also I'll create another so here C and the section that uh, it will be seven feet or uh, five feet okay so this is five feet and i will use another that will be also 12 into 18 and uh, it's will be uh, 15 okay and it will be fixed and fixed every side so i think it's okay and also if you want to take you can use like that so i hope um, it will be considered 12 and uh, we'll change that section in future if need then fixed fix I hope it's okay so we have created a continuous beam all right we have created a continuous beam and uh, I'll just click okay after that I'll go for loading here I'm creating data so here we have created data and now I'm going for loading so loading uh, what I'll use I'll use self wet dead load and live load so if you need to use snow earth roof seismic then wind you can add that so I'm not going to add that. So here, first of all, for beam, okay, for all beam, uh, load case that will be dead load. I'll just delete that on. It's creating problems for, for dead load. I will assign dead load here from a start to end, okay, a start to end. So here, what will be? 
mm, the direction will be in global z then here uh, the load uniform distributed load and that is how much i will just provide load uh, dead load suppose one kip okay and also it's a self weight so i'll provide 0 0.6 kip okay and uh, for live load for live load i'll just provide 2 kip for live load i'll provide 2 kip and for dead load it's 1 kip so when it's done we're seeing here the loading condition and after that i'll just go okay So here we are seeing that now finally we have to go for here three three span so we have to go for the reinforcement detail so I'll just simply go here so um, for cantilever you are seeing that for cantilever side you are seeing that um, here it's a um, okay i'll just click okay to see the result here first time and after that i'll go for change and i hope so here uh, everything is okay and uh, the bottom reinforcement for cantilever portion here a red red line here so for cantilever portion you're seeing that in uh, as the here all moment are negative and negative so it's not required to use any moment uh, I mean reinforcement in bottom so that's why it's zero but we have provided reinforcement and for top we have provided but required is that and uh, 0 0.6 to 5 okay so utilization is 0 0.707 and for spent 2 it's also okay and spent 3 is also okay but our uh, sh share reinforcement is not okay so now i'll just go for change span one i'll just click here so when here now uh, i'll just see the section here in top we got reinforcement but in bottom we have provided huge reinforcement so what we'll do actually just see required zero but we have provided much more so what we'll do I'll just give it zero here and even it's okay so here uh, it's okay and what happened here if I provided zero also it's okay and here we're seeing that also here we no need any reinforcement but we have provided so what we can do that we can uh, okay we can change that to four okay we can change that to four and uh, number four bar in bottom okay and for that zone okay we, we didn't provide any reinforcement and here for top so we required 0 0.6 to but we have provided 0 0.48 number six bar see if I provide number five bar see what I mean so it's little bit low okay i will provide number six bar for top all right or uh, we can it's okay so when that side is okay okay i'll go for our next span by clicking here uh, wait for some time so uh, here span details so everything is okay i just click okay now see also we are seeing that our um, here reinforcement record is 1.3 but we have provided much more so what we can do that i can provide here one reinforcement it's now okay also so if i click here so here one and here two i mean uh, our previous two and here on that is okay and here the record is 0 0.625 but we have provided 884 it's okay and for middle side uh, the at middle no requirement of reinforcement but we have provided much more here and much uh, so for left and right 
see if I provide here one bar see now what happened designing uh, now that set failing so I'll just provide here two bar because that's bar are supporting here okay in that side it's supporting so what we can do that I can provide here zero bar okay and uh, for right side walls I can provide zero bar and also they have one bar also and here that side I can provide two bar maybe this time it's okay and that side also okay so if I see the cross section so here three and bottom two also okay and for zone two reinforcement so here are uh, one here one reinforcement oh, that's not okay so I'll just use two and that's it for left and for right I'll also provide uh, two reinforcement but I can provide number four okay it's not okay so I'll just go so here also I provided more so what, what I can do that I can remove on bar from here and remove on bar from uh, sorry on bar from here so that side is also okay right now I'll go for the next side I mean our remaining side remaining span so here are uh, that is also okay for that set first of all I'll see the section view set so three by two and uh, required that provided that required that provided have provided more so here if I give zero actually no option to provide here zero we have to provide one so I'll just cancel because um, we got three reinforcement in immediate left side so here one on but middle and right side we can if I see that side zone three so here we have provided four I mean we required 0 0.7 uh, but we have provided use so what I can do that I can give as zero now see what happened uh, if I provide zero then it's okay and also what I can do for uh, right hanger uh, Okay, for that side, if I give it zero, is it okay or not? So, see, now it's okay. Here, now if I see the zone, just see uh, 0 0.747 like that. Here, two reinforcement in that side, I mean, in the right side here, and here, three reinforcement in top and in middle we have provided two reinforcement if I click here we have provided two reinforcement okay so everything is okay our design check is okay so I'll click okay okay uh, spend details we have to see spend details so as spend details I'll just click okay and finally I'll click okay so everything is okay but our share check is I mean uh, is drop is share reinforcement is not okay so I'll simply click and for span 3 okay we can check here share design by clicking here see we record okay i will use number 3 bar i uh, know uh, with uh, as we have provided 6 bar number 6 bar that's why we will provide it number 4 bar as a strap and here uh, required spacing is uh, 7.8 on 313 so what i will do i will just give you uh, 6 here also I'll provide six and also here I'll provide six okay it's okay similarly for that side we spent two also I'll provide six six 
6 just see its design immediately and 6 and here 2 leg bends we have provided a round of uh, stirrup so not okay I will just go again for cantilever portion and here I will also provide 6 and here also 6 also 6 so I will just click ok just see everything is ok our, our design check is ok with respect to our that uh, beam size so when it's ok everything is ok now I will just go for finish so I will click finish and it's creating report so wait for some time it will take a little while to create report so here it's done total uh, number 13 page report have created so if I just go down just see here is the uh, beam shear force diagram and here the reinforcement diagram for cantilever portion you can see here the reinforcement for cantilever portion here we have provided three here just uh, you can see something here okay so if you see here here section here the section in that section okay in that section they have two reinforcement in top and two reinforcement in bottom number four bar okay number four bar here and in here in top and in bottom okay in top and in bottom they have in section B 1 number 6 bar and 2 number 6 bar in top okay and bottom you are saying that we will provide 2 bar because um, it's not necessary but we have provided so we can use any size of bar but we will provide number 6 bar it will not be so cheap so for that section and uh, here we are saying that reinforcement for middle section okay for the middle section this is shear design okay this is the shear design for our cantilever portion so we are seeing the shear design value will provide two legs here two legs straight up four inch i mean number four six inch center to center both so here zone one and zone two again if we go for that portion so here at left and at right we are seeing that at bottom we will provide number 4 bar till that point to that point ok till that point to that point and what is the point so in that section actually span 3 ok span 3 6 feet for 6 feet and last remaining 3 feet and last remaining 3 feet we will provide 3 bar in top till that point and uh, here two bar and two bar see in this way you are able to read and see here everything is available i hope you'll be able to and here the history up i mean for share so i hope, I hope uh, it's okay for you and you are able to design and you are able to do your work perfectly so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video and in our next lecture i'll just show that how will analysis with use another design code okay so thank you thank you very much sister let's take connected till next video and if you're a linkedin user then you can connect me on linkedin and obviously like our video share our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thank you thank you very much